got some really exciting news. Um, I have a good friend who's been in one industry for over 25 years, but the last several years he has not been happy. And a little flow chart that I have says if you're happy, the answer is yes, keep doing what you're doing. If the answer is no, make a change. And even if you've been in the same industry for 25 years, you can still make a change. I'm proud of you, Pete. Congratulations. I'm excited. Anybody, you can make a change too. If you need to make a change in your life, you can do it. You don't have to be crazy and go live in an RV like we did. It could be something small, but make a change. So we were at Blue Angel Recreation Center in Pensacola and then we headed towards Panama City. We went to St. Andrews State Park, which unfortunately we were actually very disappointed in just because it was not what we expected, not what we liked, but we learned a very valuable lesson and that is to check out the campgrounds on Google Maps, looking at the satellite view so we can actually see what we're getting into. Um, unfortunately, that, that state park was essentially an RV park. Um, there was no privacy at all between the sites. They were super small and close together, and there was nowhere to walk except on the road. It seems very bizarre to us. It's a state park with nowhere to walk, but apparently the draw to that state park is the beaches, which did appear to be very nice, but... We did not go down to them. Um, we had the dogs, and that's where you know we got there. Uh, we have the. I have a rule. We kind of have a rule where we try not to make a decision on the first night about a place. But uh, we woke up the next morning and pretty much felt the same way. Decided that uh, we. We're going to explore our options. We looked at Torreya State Park, which is where we were scheduled to come next. And we actually got in here early. We got in here an extra two days. And this park has been exactly what we are interested in, exactly what we're looking for. There's a ton of hiking trails. It's like 16 miles of hiking trails. And so we've gotten to the chance to get out and uh, hike. We installed a new water filter um, so we could have a little bit more filtration on the water we're actually drinking. Um, hooking up to these campgrounds, you're never, you're never really sure what you're getting. Um, and the small water filters that go outside are great, but we noticed that the water just was not tasting good. Oh, it's quite a mess you got there. Yeah, I really, really did the best day to do this because this is... A shower pan liner that I'm trying to put in under our sink just because I had it and it's waterproof and we're gonna install our new Fizz Life water filter but I want to make sure that if anything isn't hooked up correctly or there's a problem or a crack or a leak or anything like that it doesn't just flood our cheap sticker board stuff and ruin it. What do you mean sink, so. it's high quality? What are you talking about? Um, so I'm trying to get this waterproof pan liner in underneath mm -hmm. and keep it down here. Yeah. filters down there. Let's see what happens. So we're supposed to do this for 10 minutes. So these are the endangered, very rare apparently, Torreya tree. 
literally only grows in this area along these bluffs. Um, and then I guess there's other species that grow in California and China, but these were discovered in 1835 in this area. But that's how the state park got its name. What are you looking at out there? Hmm? What are you looking at? I was trying to see what you're seeing. Not a bad view looking out our front door tonight. So we have definitely been enjoying our time this morning. We're walking on the Torreya Trail and we're about to go check out their primitive campsite. I think talking to try to use the Are you getting her, Henry? Well, I was like get having her, fun. Get her. So one of the really cool things here at Torreya State Park is the Gregory House. It's a southern mansion that was built in 1849, and then it was moved over to this park in the 1930s. It's really interesting. They meticulously took it apart and rebuilt it over a period of three years. They even used the original wood pegs instead of nails when they reconstructed it here. And it survived Hurricane Michael in 2018, which is the strongest hurricane. It was a category five storm that struck the Florida Panhandle. It's the fourth strongest hurricane to ever hit, make landfall in the United States. It was 140 mile an hour sustained winds with stronger gusts destroyed 90% of the tree canopy in just a matter of hours, but the house survived.
across an Eckhart Tolle quote that I really liked. Um, so it says, life will give you whatever experience is most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. How do you know this experience is the experience you need? Because this is the experience you are having at the moment. That's awesome. So we pulled into Panama City from that beautiful country drive and immediately I was having like a physical reaction. Like I don't want to be, I knew exactly what I didn't want. And then I was trying to flip the script. Okay, so stop focusing on what I don't want, focus on what I do want. But it's just important, like if we had a perfect campsite every single time and perfect neighbors and perfect all this, there's no contrast to help us guide us towards what we really want, which is again, it's not to be our veers and live in an RV full time. It's solitude and it's adventure and it's finding like our, our people that we're comfortable and we wanna live around and that area of where we wanna be, where we wanna buy land. Right. What I think is just really important is to look at those as opportunities for growth or like that contrast isn't always bad, like it's okay. Double just when there's like a little offshoot that you're not supposed to go down? Nope. Okay. Um, well, there's a single. And honestly, this should be a double. Yeah, it should oh, be before cause that. It's because it's a turn. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the double says, hey, there's a turn coming up. Okay. So pay attention. Pay attention. Here is a swamp chestnut oak. Oh wow, that thing is a huge dead tree. The swamp chestnut oak. Swamp chestnut. These uh, steps are legit, huh? This was fun. Whoa, yeah. I almost just died right there. I know, that's why I had a heel pick up zebra. I was like, mm. What I just keep trying to remind myself is like, how do I know I need this experience because it's the one I'm having. There aren't mistakes. I know, that's Maybe a like great a way of looking at it. It's hot and cold almost. Like, okay, we're getting warmer to what we want. Oh, we're getting cooler. We're getting warmer, we're getting cooler. Yeah, and that's a great perspective. And it just helps me to feel like more calm down, I think, instead of being like so hyper about what's going to happen. It's like, well, there is no wrong answer. Right. There's only like, what feels good, what doesn't feel as good. So right. move towards what feels good. That's, that's my- Profound name. words Profound with family. Emily. That's Profound where, words with Emily. That's where my head's been lately. Right All the birds and stuff. Yeah. I like the jungle. It's really cool actually. A lot to say out there. That deep thoughts with Erlene. Deep thoughts and e mixes with Emily. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Wait, how do I make an e? <laughs> e. <laughs> deep thoughts and e mixes with Emily. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Love Have you. fun. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye, Wahoo. Be good boy. Be good boy.